welcome to Kanak Info Systems YouTube channel. This is Patrush Shetan and I am going to tell you about how to add a new menu in Navbar using JS. Have you ever thought of how message menu, activity menu or current company menu remain visible in any tab even if we are changing menu from sale order to accounting or to any view which is list to Kanban to graph to form. It always remain visible. It always remains so easily accessible. So how does it work? If we want to add a new menu like this one, then how can we do it? This is very useful as it is very convenient to perform, perform related tasks. We can create something like quick ball, eyeball type functionality that we use in our mobile. So let's see how to add a new menu in easily accessible navbar. So for this, we have to create a new JS file, J JS temp template and isolated JS file. So this is the navbar menu XML. So here I have created a new template uh, which is named as a navbar menu. In that I have crea created a, a div container which has a class named as a navbar menu container. In that uh, I have used anchor tag as a container. You can you can uh, choose uh, any uh, container you want, which is uh, in div p or any container. Also, I have used an icon tag uh, for our navbar menu. I have created a JS file like this one. Here I have used Udo module, uh, which is an important part. Uh, then I have imported some libraries like a ratio and component. Uh, then I have created uh, a new class which is name which is navbar menu which is an extension of component then I have used a uh, constructor type uh, like setup then I have uh, uh, created a function inside it which is uh, on click navbar menu this will trigger when we click on uh, anchor tag here I have used this t on click function okay so when I click on this anchor tag then this menu this function will all um, uh, this function will uh, trigger by itself okay after that I have uh, assigned the, uh, this uh, this class to a template uh, which is navbar menu of course so I here I am assigning uh, navbar menu which is a class uh, to a template name navbar menu which is this one okay then to add in this one this area I have used uh, I, I have used registry as as an library so uh, in registry we we are uh, adding a new component uh, which is uh, our navbar menu or we can say an, an, any any menu in sister category okay so this part this is called sister category okay so here I am uh, adding a template uh, which is uh, this one which is mainly this one okay so when I uh, here I have uh, a root name of uh, uh, module name then the template name and then I have used a component as a navbar menu which is this one this class name okay then I have uh, assigned a sequence which is 30 okay you can assign it any sequence you want uh, I have assigned because I wanted to be it here so this is the result mainly okay so when I uh, run this whole module then this will give a result like this one I have to put these all to all these uh, navbar menu JS and navbar menu XML in manifest in web.assets backend okay then when I put this in this one and then compile then uh, th this will the navbar menu will come here okay we can use uh, this for uh, our related and uh, any of tasks okay so in here when I, uh, I have used a debugger okay so when I inspect uh, and when I click on this when I click on this uh, then this function must be triggered and this function which is this one so when I clicking on this this function is triggered okay I can do any anything I want 
I can't perform any task we want. I, I, I want like this one. Uh, when I when I click on this and uh, this message menu, this whole container will open. If I click on this activity menu, then this will open. If I click on this uh, your company, then this will open. So this is all works like this one. So this this does not does not change in any view like I am in sales when I am changing the view it does not changes so this can be very useful if we can cr uh, create a calendar something like that uh, to just uh, create our uh, calendar uh, meetings or anything we want okay so thank you please comment your suggestion and like and subscribe for these useful videos also i have uh, uh, mentioned uh, i have uh, mentioned the reference of code in a github link uh, here okay so this is the github link okay and this is the module you can use it for your further uh, further need okay thank you